When modeling you as a 3D artist or as a designer to do your work using 3D objects, you have to use a clean topology. But sometimes you need to use 3D models that you didn't make yourself, so later you will find yourself cleaning everything manually. I'm pretty sure that I'm not exaggerating when I tell you that the process can be painfully tiring, in addition to being challenging. Fortunately, there are some add-ons that can significantly simplify the process, whether it be cleaning models that you will find online or models that you have scanned yourself and their topology is really bad. Before we continue, I wanted to let you know guys that the Blender Market is having right now a huge summer sale with 25% discount on thousands of Blender products from add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. Also, if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of the best add-ons and courses that can take your projects to the next level. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with a Blender add-on called BMesh Clean, which can be used for automating some repetitive cleaning processes and reducing their steps to one or a few simple clicks and apply them all at once. First of all, the add-on offers the possibility to delete doubles or loose vertices in addition to edges with normal recalculation and orientation and smooth shading. And this is important because otherwise it's gonna be a disaster, so keep that in mind. On a side note, ignoring sharpness can only be done in Blender 4.1 or higher. The limited dissolve feature is also available with options to conserve the different materials, seams and UVs which I find pretty lovely if you ever started editing your mesh before cleaning it. And the same goes for the triangulation or the conversion of triangles to quads in the subdivision type section that offers the ability to change their split methods and some conversion options as well. The add-on can be applied on multiple objects and offers presets that you can use or you can save your own presets if you ever think you will use them again in the future. Like BMesh Clean, we have Instant Clean add-on, which offers the possibility to save and choose presets as well, in addition to the one-click cleaning feature, which is also available with a batch processing capability, meaning you can apply those commands on multiple objects. And from what I can see, the add-on provides a comprehensive interface and customizable tools to clean your model with customizable options to fit the requirement of your project. And the processes are not different from the previous add-ons, but I find the options and the interface somehow more friendly. You can instantly repair your mesh by removing doubles, unnecessary or loose vertices, and overlapping faces. Dissolving is of course available with conservation options for materials and UVs in addition to fixing normals and topology. And in case you have unused vertices or materials, the add-on can eventually clean them. And it can go through these processes one at a time or all at once depending on what you want. And in the recent update of the add-on, some features have been added to make your models and manifold possible in case you're working on a 3D printing model. Finding what's wrong with your model is great and everything, but what happens when the flaws are all over the place and it is too much to handle manually and sometimes it is impossible? And I'm talking about 3D scanning models. How do you clean them? Because it's common knowledge that 3D scans are definitely not the cleanest or the most optimized models that you can get. Moreover, whether you use modifiers or not, manual editing, which can be heavy, is always involved in either deleting unnecessary parts or reducing the poly count to optimize the computer resources. But with this add-on called 3D Scan Cleaner, you can get the necessary features for cutting those unnecessary details in both the X, Y, and Z axes, and with the Decimate feature, you can reduce the poly count to the lowest possible without noticeable change, saving you a lot of memory, I would say. The add-on also has a feature to fix nasty textures that can appear in those scanned models, using the clone tool in the texture paint mode. So beware of forgetting to save the image before ending the project. And even after cleaning the model, reusing a copy of it by duplicating would create a new data. But you can avoid it by creating an instance with some randomization. And now let's talk about an add-on called Cleaner. This add-on generally speaking is useful when multiple software are involved in the creation of a model and you can use it to focus on automating or optimizing some repetitive and annoying cleaning tasks when you import your model from another software or plan to export it to Blender for example. 
and most of the repetitive tasks are well known in the 3D community. And while some can be simple, repeating them can be annoying. And the add-on offers features to complete them individually on the selected object or at the same time. It involves cleaning the meshes from duplicate vertices to avoid any problems and reduce the poly count by keeping the overall shape. Plus, it frees you from custom split normals that some software apply to the models, causing shading issues, which is not good at all. In addition, the add-on gives you the possibility to recalculate those normals and fix their orientation, which is good. And some models also contain some unused material slots that can be cleaned using this add-on called Cleaner. Yes, as I said, you can apply those commands at once, since in some cases, it requires completing all of them at once. And I consider this a nice touch to save time. So why not save more? The cleaner, as I can see, streamlines model cleaning after importing or even if you made your own models. So it can be used in both cases, making it a really good add-on, especially if you work in ArcVis or 3D printing. And I think this will be really helpful. So in a nutshell, this add-on can handle diverse data efficiently, repair complex geometry, and ensures that models are ready for 3D printing by removing everything that you don't need from vertices, edges, or duplicate polygons. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about Mesh Analyzer Pro. Just like the previous add-ons, this one will evaluate your meshes and inspect them for any missing or duplicate vertices, edges, or faces. But the interesting thing is that it provides various types of poles and different angons, and it can overlay visual indicators, and by that I mean colors on your mesh, which is great, in addition to creating a report to help you identify and fix issues as you work with the AutoSync feature. This tool is especially useful for catching mistakes that often occur during the modeling process. However, the add-on only inspects without automatically editing the mesh, therefore it is non-destructive and additionally, you can customize the colors and add-on preferences, which is great. On a side note, and depending on when you're watching the video, you have to know that the latest version only works with Blender 4.2. But this is subject to change in the future, of course, if you are watching this video in the future. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in one of those add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, also please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.